Hi, I'm Melanie Townsend. And I'm Josh Cozart. This is our last show of the semester, and the last day we get to work with our senior employees. Yeah, I know. This semester we have five seniors that are heading out of the Met Report studio and into the real world. Yes, Belen Ward, Tomas Lopez, Alex O'Brien, Anthony Rodriguez, and John Madden are graduating seniors. Round of applause. Yeah, for guys. you guys made it through. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, starting with our lovely Miss Belen Ward, can you just tell us how you got started with the Met Report? Um, well, I've always been interested in photojournalism, and so I heard that uh, the Met Report was a great place to get real-world training and um, producing stories, and so I was glad that to be part of the team and to pursue my career as a photojournalist. What are you going to miss most? I'm going to miss everyone at the studio, all my peers that helped me along the way, and um, I'm going to just miss miss doing stories here but I plan on coming back and visiting and absolutely you definitely should because yeah. we're going to miss your bubbly personality <laughs> <laughs> all right Tomas this question's for you uh you've been with the Met Report now for a total of two years you've done entertainment you've yes. had your own show what is the biggest takeaway from the program that you've had oh god um I would have to say learning how to shut up <laughs> you know, like there are just sometimes and there are some things that don't need to be said. And that was a lesson that I really had to learn that, you know, sometimes in life you need to take a step back and you don't always have to be that center of attention, that loudest person in order to show that you're a good worker and that you have quality things to offer. You know, you can still step to the side and give other people shine and still shine just as bright as you would other than that. So I feel like that's really what I took took away from working uh, with Met Media and the Met Report. So. Good. Well, we enjoyed uh, have, spending so much time with you and everything. Uh, what are your plans after you graduate? Do you plan on? Well, on? right now, honestly, my main goal is to learn Spanish fluently. I Ooh. feel like that is going to be pertinent to my career. And I really feel like, you know, being Native American and Mexican, it's very important for me to um, keep that culture alive and really show who I am. And, you know, my main message in anything that I do for anybody that's watching is be who you are and be absolutely proud of that and don't let anybody tell you that you're not good enough because there is a place for you. You just have to find it and sometimes that journey can be really difficult. So yeah, that's my little piece of advice and yeah, to all them gay boys and little native boys out there, there. There's a put, there's a way, and I made it. So. Yes, honey. Yeah. Yes, yes girl. Yes, yes, yes Miss Cora. All right. Miss <laughs> Lady in Red over here, Alex. Hello. So, can you tell us how you uh, you guys heard with weather? Is that what you really want to do? Yeah, I love weather so much. I think it's so ever changing, and it's so much fun to predict and see how things change, and see how sometimes things don't happen the way that you think they're going to happen. So, I've really, I really love weather. It's so much fun. Great. How did the Met Report kind of help uh, take the weather aspect and bring it to a different level for you? Well, I've really learned how to speak more precisely about weather and really get the point across to someone who might not know all the scientific terms. Mm -hmm. And it's been, it's been really great to know how to portray all my knowledge to people in a fun way. And do you want to cover the weather in Colorado? Because you know how crazy it is. So <laughs> keep trying to tell Yes, I right? love Colorado weather and I hope to stay here for a long time. <laughs> do you have any plans on uh, future jobs or anything? Yes, I'm actually, um, I'll be working with Weather Nation. They are a all weather channel. They're based out of Centennial and I'll be producing content for them and hopefully going on air with them some, sometime soon. Exciting stuff to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Anthony. Oh boy, you've been here longer than most of us yeah. have. So you started off with radio and then you transitioned into TV. Tell us a little bit about what inspired you to do that transition. Well, I love radio and radio gave me an opportunity to show my personality and it gave me a great voice as well. And I wanted to get the full body experience with television and still do radio on the side. But um, television gave me that ability to, to kind of be fully myself and, and bring that to the audiences with my, you know, my love for sports, my knowledge for sports. And so being able to do both and starting radio and then transitioning to TV, you know, it's, it's been a great transition. And to hear it, the Met Report and Met Media overall and, and you know, came at radio, shout out to them as well. But, um, you know, it's made me love both. So, so much. Good. Uh, what would you say the biggest takeaway or the thing that you'll miss the most from the Met Report? 
the Met Report and, and all of Met Media really as a whole, the opportunities you get here are so full and, and the people you get to work with um, make it such a great opportunity because you get to be thrown in right away and, and you get those chances that maybe people at other schools don't get. I, I would say if I had a message for anyone out there that wanted to be involved in what we do, you want to be in these seats like we are, just come to MSU Denver and be a part of Met Media, Camet Radio, Met Report, Metropolitan, Metrosphere, all of the stuff in Met Media um, I could never speak more highly of than I am am right now because um, it's given me all the opportunities and the chances to be successful as I've been and I think for the rest of my life I will continue to be a proponent of Met Media and what I have done here and will continue to try to push people to coming here because of what I've gotten out of it. Good, because we won't let you go that easy. I know, exactly. <laughs> uh, can you tell us what your future plans are? Yes, I have uh, officially uh, accepted a position, a weekend sports anchor position, weekday news MMJ reporter in Laredo, Texas. So uh, just Going two, to the yep, two days after graduation, I will be uh, moving up to, or moving down to uh, Laredo and bidding adieu to the, to the mile high. Well, we're super excited to see where you, where you go from here. Thank we're you. sad to see you go. Yeah. I'm sad to go. <laughs> I, I, I love it here. And yeah. I'm going to miss it a lot. And that's... Well, you'll be back to visit. So I will be back to we visit. We won't even talk about like you're <laughs> going okay. permanently, all right? Okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. John Madden. The jokes are over here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, you. Imagine that. <laughs> so uh, what are your plans after you graduate? What do you want to do? Well, um, I've decided that I want to try to pursue the new satire stuff first. Um, you know, I did my own show here, so. Which is called? Two Cent Beatdown. Oh, I love, that that I love you know? doing it. And uh, <clears throat> I kind of found my, my lane with doing that. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm gonna see how that goes, and then I'll fall back on sports reporting and news reporting in the future, yeah. if that doesn't pan out the way I want it to. Cool, and what's your most favorite memory or biggest takeaway from the Met Report, like these guys? Um, probably just, coming here every Friday and doing a show. I think it was pretty cool seeing everybody's hard work and everybody working together as a team come together and make a cohesive project. Mm -hmm. When you're surrounded by a group of people who take this all very seriously and strive to put out a good product, you know, you can produce great results. So I think just being here, for, being here on Fridays and seeing everybody's hard work, I'm gonna miss that, but that was also probably the thing I remember the most too. Well, we're gonna miss your yeah. witty comments and uh, you, <laughs> Food shaming us for yeah. e McDonald's exactly. in the office. Yeah. Dropping yeah. the mic, you know. Yeah. We're gonna miss that. Just trying to look out for your health. I mean, <laughs> yeah. You literally made me never want to eat McDonald's. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Well, we're really gonna miss each and every one of you. And here's one final look back at our seniors' time here at the Met Report. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again Unless you're attending Rockies games this season for the party deck or if you're nostalgic of what once was with the Blake Street Bombers or the 2007 World Series, it's hard to imagine a scenario in which Rockies fans aren't leaving lower downtown Denver disappointed on many summer nights to come. Although medical marijuana has been approved at the state level, it still remains a class A drug at the federal level. Despite the poisoning, some prairie dogs managed to survive and can still be seen roaming the construction site. Spring-like weather has finally returned, and that means that Colorado's severe threat increases. MDMA, more commonly known as Molly or Ecstasy, has been a popular illicit drug. E. Ray steps up, picks out white, and for the win, honey, I'm home! His initials are fittingly ER, straight up surgical. Music is one of the many ways we express ourselves here in Denver. So what's on the menu at Auraria Campus? A lot of the food options contain ingredients that make nutritionists cringe. As spring continues in Colorado, severe weather comes in the form of lightning. When Julian was eight months old, he developed a rare form of spinal muscular atrophy, paralyzing. And when brotherhood come first, then the line will never be crossed. Established it on our own when that line had